Ardmore But first, if Mother Nature is kind and the sky's clear, you're in for a celestial treat with over 100 shooting stars per hour to be seen overnight. Just how bright will these be and how can you make the most of the spectacle? Shawnee Morris is secretary of the Midlands Astronomy Club. Shawnee, thanks for taking our call today. Thanks for having me, Will. I presume this is the same phenomenon we talked about not so long ago where we're passing through the path of is it an asteroid or a comet that has left a a trail behind it? It's an asteroid in this case. It's it's one of two asteroids that actually does contribute to a meteor shower for us observers here on Earth. The asteroid in question is uh, Phaeton or Phaeton and it is one of the closest passing asteroids to the sun and hence in Greek mythology, Phaeton is actually the son of Helios, the sun god. So, but this asteroid in this part, uh, question now, it passes by every, maybe one and three quarter years or so. so but it must have left quite happy. a trail of debris in its wake to create the spectacle we're in for. It does. Um, but not unlike a comet. A comet would leave a lot more, but what makes faith on so spectacular is that for an asteroid that pretty much is completely inert, it still leaves a trail of dust, probably being brushed off by the solar wind as it travels, rather than the comet, which is heating up and exploding through gas expanding and shedding off debris that way. So that's what makes uh, Phaeton with an asteroid connection very unique. So to the naked eye, what will we see, assuming the clouds part? Assuming the clouds part, well, what we're going to see is an increase in meteor activity, or shooting star activity, Uh, just like what we've seen for the Orionids, the Leonids, and the Perseids uh, throughout the year. But the Geminids are probably 2012's favourite shower because they are annually the most reliable, but this year the most active. Uh, What we do is, as soon as it gets dark, Gemini begins to rise from the northeastern horizon, and it will traverse the entire sky, and by morning will have set in the southwest. So it's visible all night long. But the higher it gets as the night progresses, that's when you get to see more of the activity. The more higher it gets, then the radiance is spread all over the sky. The Geminids themselves, very bright, yellowish in colour, indicates a mixture of iron and silicate, and they would be very fast, very bright. We could see an excess of 120 to 160 meteors per hour, but your average that you will see guaranteed from light polluted skies, like those who live in cities and towns, could even still be a good 30 to 40 an hour. Okay, so even notwithstanding, say, if you're in the heart of Athlone and you've got miles of urbanisation around you, you're still going to see something. You are. Uh, So for those who maybe just want to have a peek outside, should the weather be good for us, uh, then you will still see something. For those who want to really take a trip out to a bog or a country area where it's kind of devoid of light pollution and buildings and tall trees, then you'll see an awful lot more, and that's where the treats will come in store for us. What would be the best equipment to use? Your naked eye. Mark one eyeball, as we call it. <laughs> Mark uh, one eyeball, need... I like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't need a telescope. Some people will actually take a, an SLR or DSLR camera uh, or any other kind of a camera that may have a bulb setting where you can actually leave the shutter open and the light is absorbed by the, the, uh, the chip or the film and you'll be able to get these streaks going across the sh- photo. Each one of those streaks would be a meteor. So mark one eyeball or a camera if you want to take some astrophotography. That's all you need. And to wrap up warm. OK. And, Johnny, if you want to get more information on the Midlands Astronomy Club, how can you do so? You can check out our website at midlandsastronomy.com and you can also check out the Irish Federation of Astronomy Societies via irishastronomy.org where there's also an online community which will be able to give people even more tips and helpful aids on how to be able to not just observe meteors, but just about anything else that's out in the sky tonight. Good stuff. Shawnee Morris, Secretary of the Midlands Astronomy Club, thank you very much for taking our call today.